This is Nick with Us versus Herd. I'm gonna show you how to get your money out of Binance back into Coinbase. Some people have been a little confused. I, I did a video, uh, I think last week, on how to get money from Coinbase to Binance so you could buy things. So this is how you get it back. Because so, um, I'm actually gonna liquidate one of my positions to get it back. Um, as you can see, there's only certain pairs that trade. Um, so I'm gonna, I have a position right now in ADA that I'm gonna take off the table. I'm up like, um, let's see here. I'm up around uh, 376%. So what I'm going to do here, I, they have basic advanced. I, I'll show you, I like the advanced a little bit better because it's a little bit cleaner, it's all in one page. The basic I think is more confusing than the advanced. Not sure why they uh, labeled it one or the other, but we'll log into here and I'm going to sell my ADA. So the plan is here while this loads, I'm going to sell my ADA for Bitcoin and then I'm going to take my Bitcoin and buy um, Litecoin. I, cause I, you can transfer Bitcoin to Coinbase, but it's going to take a few hours. I like to use Litecoin because it takes about 15, 20 minutes. And that way, if I wanted my Coinbase account to buy something else or I want it somewhere else, just in transit, it moves a lot faster. So this is taking a while. Okay, I actually switched to basic because the the advanced was crashing my screen here. Um, so I'm gonna go to ADA to sell my holdings here. Uh, let's see here. As you can see here, I have 1,700 coins. We're just gonna sell all those. Let's see what the la latest price was, 28.16. Let's see if we can get this 28.18 here. Probably not. We'll try 28.16. Succeeded. Um, so what you want to do here, you can check. Just because it says succeed doesn't mean it's sold. So you look down here. Uh, I still have a sell order in here. Nothing filled yet. So nothing was filled for that. So I'm going to cancel that. Yeah, that wants 28.15 it looks like. So let's do 100% on my holdings. Uh, 16. Actually, I don't know if I wanna do 100%. I think that I wanna do, let's do some math here. I think I can, actually we'll do 100%, yeah. So let's sell this ADS, let's see if we can get the 28.15. Okay, as you can see here, there's no open orders. Um, you see here, it says filled. So that's how you know that this was filled. So I have my ADA right here, it was filled. So now I have Bitcoin. So what I wanna do is take Bitcoin and go buy a Litecoin so I can send it. Let's go buy some Litecoin. So now I get my Bitcoin, I'm gonna go buy Litecoin, 100%. So I'm gonna take 100% of my Bitcoin balance I'll buy Litecoin for, let's try, uh, down here is the bid here, the ask here, we're gonna go to, we'll try 30. <coughs> okay, no fill, move quickly. You could sometimes wait for it or, you know, if you're not patient. Yep, took a couple seconds and that one filled. So, got this one for 1879, so it filled. So I got two and a half light coins right now, a little bit more than two and a half. So what I'm gonna do here, you're gonna go to your deposits and withdrawals and we'll go to Coinbase while that's loading and we'll go to um, accounts. And as you can see here, I don't really have anything here because I've been trading on Binance. As you see my, my Litecoin wallet's at zero. Um, so what you wanna do here is get your, get your receive code on your wallet I'm gonna block. So I'm gonna block this out so you guys can't see. But um, a box popped up here. You get it. Copy the address. This is for your Litecoin uh, wallet address. And then in here, you're gonna to want to go to. You know, after you click on with deposits withdrawals, you go to your find your Litecoin. See, I have my two and a half there, a little bit more. Go to withdraw. Select my Coinbase account. So I've already have I already have my withdrawal address in there for my Coinbase account. So I'm just going to send that now. 
And let's see, let's make sure that's right. Let's, looks like that's not the right address. So that's why I double check the address. I don't know, this might be encrypted. But let's start a new one just to be safe. If you don't trust it, just send like a little bit over at a time. I'm send my wallet there. So I'm gonna put my Coinbase in there. Label it Coinbase. Make sure that matches up. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna submit that. Yeah, if you don't if you don't trust it, once we put my Google authorization code in here, so this is a little I definitely re recommend MFA for your stuff. MFA means multi-factor authentication, if you're not sure. Um, there's an app called Google Authenticator you can download from the App Store, and that can verify your account. And market is open. Okay. So it's going to send me a confirmation in my email to make sure that I want to do that. Let me go and see my email here real quick. Yep, I got my confirmation request, and I can then you confirm it. So there's there's a couple... There's a couple things that they have in there just to make sure people hit, just withdraw out of your account. Um, okay, so I successfully withdraw my, uh, I, I clicked the link in my email. I successfully confirmed that I want to withdraw it. Um, so now I'm just going to wait for my uh, Litecoin in, in, um, in Coinbase. You can check your history here, it says, <clears throat> and we can, See here, it says processing down here, so you can see our withdrawals history down here, and it is currently processing. So I'm going to pause the video, and uh, when the when it shows up, show, it should be about 20 minutes. So right now it's 8:30, so we'll see how long it takes, and I'll resume the video when I come when the when the Litecoin is in my Coinbase wallet. Okay, we're back. We just got the Litecoin into my Coinbase wallet. As you can see here, now I have that. 2.5 two and a half coins here um, that I just sent from Binance so that's kind of how you just move things across from Binance to to Coinbase or any other wallet either as well if you're not with Coinbase or you're with somebody else you can move stuff through your addresses that way um, you can also um, you know reverse that and send things from Coinbase to to Binance, and a lot of times, what what I'll do is, uh, you know, what 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 I usually do for sending to uh, to Binance is I, um, since Binance is a USD to to uh, whatever coin these are, <clears throat> so you don't have to trade like Binance. You don't you can't trade the US dollar for it. It's just coin for coin. You can only so it trades in pairs. Um, that's why it kind of gets a little confusing for some people. But for a Coinbase, I can liquidate my US dollars into Litecoin or any of the other ones and then send it to Binance. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. I want to see how you guys are doing. If there's any coins that you guys have questions on or what you guys are investing in, I'm definitely interested in that as well.